Number 72 from the book 501 Contractor Tips. Use a digital voice recorder to develop better communication skills. Now, I never used a digital voice recorder, but I have used what you're looking at right now. I've used a camera. I actually look at these videos, I examine them, see what's working, what doesn't work, and I make my adjustments from there. I don't think I have that in this book, but you could always film yourself um, see what you do if you say something. A lot of times I'll say, um, you know, when I'm making my videos or uh, wait a minute, you know, think again, again, I say certain words. And over the years, I've just tried to get rid of them and my conversations, general conversations. And um, this is really where a digital voice recorder comes in um, handy. Um, put a digital voice recorder in your pocket and record some of your conversations. Then you can examine the conversations later by listening to it again for any type of communication errors so that you won't repeat them in the future. And that's, that's all it is. You're just going to get a digital recorder. You're going to put it in your pocket. You're going to tape uh, your estimates. And again, you're not, you don't need to, um, you're not going to be putting these on the IRS. You're not going to be uh, making movies out of them. You're not going to be using them for crime investigations. You know, digital voice recorder. If you need to let the people know, hey, I'm going to be taping you. I don't know the laws in that. Um, for your own personal use, I don't think you're going to get in trouble. I would imagine you could get in trouble if you're going to use these um, you know, for a variety of other things. Uh, I, I really don't know what those things would be. You know, m this tip right here is just to help you communicate better. It's not to incriminate anyone. You know, I do know people who use digital voice recorders to um, just in case their clients said they didn't say something. And again, that's a whole nother arena. I don't know what the legalities are. This is just to help you communicate better. A camera or a digital voice recorder, um, or other people, you know. Uh, listen to what other people are telling you. Hey, well, am, I, am I communicating effectively? And don't get caught up either in listening to someone. You know, I'll ask, you know, you ask your mom and dad when your kids, you know, am I smart? Yes, of course you are, little Johnny. Well, this isn't the same thing. You want to listen to someone who's going to give you constructive criticism. Um, you don't want someone who's going to sugarcoat anything and just, hey, am I a good communicator, Uncle Phil? Yes. Why am I a good communicator? How effective am I? You know, Another thing you can do, too, is um, watch videos of people who speak. And this could be in the line of uh, preachers, pastors, you know, someone giving a sermon who's keeping you, um, you know, positive uh, personal development people, uh, self-help people. They're perfect. These people keep you sucked in. And uh, they're good communicators. They're good storytellers. And sometimes this is what you're going to need um, for effective sales. Some of the greatest sales people in the world are fantastic storytellers. And don't forget that. Anyway, digital, digital voice recorders, if it sounds like something you can use, use it. If not, go to the next tip.